and we are recording now. Okay, so <coughs> the first thing I'll, s I'll start with is um, to understand web presence and, and uh, networking across it, sort of understand how the internet exists. It's, uh, the internet can be represented in three parts. Yes. Okay. This is this is the commercial part. This is, uh, we're just going to call this the free net. It's a term that existed before the internet. Um, and and this, is, this is the random sector. Okay, so there's, 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 there's a war going on in the internet. And, oh, this, this circle here is, is your, your, your people plugging in, okay? People plugging in. So this is people that go on the internet for whatever reason. Entertainment, information, research, study, you know, whatever. Okay, so um, the commercial sector, you know, they're, they're all here and they want to make money. That's all they're interested in. Okay, this now, uh, these, these, these are the two most powerful forces on the internet, the commercial and the, the free net sector. We've got the free net people over here. And these, these two people don't really like each other too much. So free is the people that are just have information or services online, no charge. Yeah, yeah, very... Very similar to that. These are the random people, okay? These are everybody that has like their own Facebook account and people that have like their own web space. They're like, hey, look at me, I have a web page, you know, kind of thing, you know. They have like their own little YouTube channel, whatever, you know. This They don't really serve any purpose except like their own purpose, you know. Hey, check me out, you know, kind of thing. So that would be like Fusion's website. Um, no, not this, no, no, because the intent of these people is just to have something to show their friends, or show their family, you know. And they're, 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 they're scattered in the entire conglomerate, right? So Facebook would be under random. It's just people putting up their own stuff and wanting to connect to other people and come and read my stuff. Well, fa Facebook is a, is, is a little different, so, so I'll, I'll, I'll get into that. Okay. But basically, Freenet, these guys, these guys have a philosophy. And there's and their philosophy is that anybody who wants to learn about anything, just just for the fact that they want to learn something, they should have the, the, the free allowance to learn it without without being inhibited because they're poor or 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 at some disadvantage. Wikipedia. Yes, Wikipedia is an example of 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 of, of a of a free net. You know, it's sponsored by donations. It's it's free knowledge for 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 everybody type thing. These com now when you do a search, I'm sure you'll notice that many times you put in a search you want to research something, and all of a sudden you get this whole book list from like Amazon.com, right? You know, this is Amazon. You know, so basically you want to learn about cancer or something, you type it in, and it's like learn all about cancer. Buy my book, twenty nine ninety five. Okay, that's the whole commercial enterprise working there, right? You know, it's, see what, what's happening is, even in terms of like softwares, these people say, hey, we want everybody to be able to use a computer. We want everyone to be able to set up a website. We want, we want to give people freedom, ability, you know, this type of thing. So these guys, programmers who are just trying to get themselves known, just, you know, and, and, and practice and test new softwares and this type of thing. They offer freeware stuff like this. This keeps the commercial entity in check all the time because because a lot of times the commercial entity will come up with a software 
saying, okay, well, people want to be able to do this, so we'll sell this for so much. And then someone from the free net sector says, well, some people can't afford that. I'm going to make it for free. I'm a programmer. You know, I just want some people to recognize me, whatever. You know, if you like to donate to my site or whatever. And then these guys say, oh, God, someone's got it for free already. So now I have to develop something better, right? That's like open source software is the free net stuff. Like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Ubuntu and the whole... The whole yeah, platform. and the whole Joomla platform and... and, and Joomla's and free? As far as I know, it's a it's a free awesome. op open source platform. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And yeah, that keeps the commercial guys honest because unless they have a product that's truly more valuable than the free stuff, people are going to use the free stuff. Yeah. Now it's just now we've got we've got our our, our major hubs that that cross over like this. Okay. So and these hubs are like YouTube. You know, and uh, uh, so another one would be like um, like uh, Google and Facebook. Yes, and and Facebook. They're both. You're saying. Yeah. Well, they're actually they're actually from 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 these commercial sectors, but I mean they're realizing that nobody wants to pay for the internet if it means. If, it, if, if it's like a like walking in, like you have to pay five dollars to walk into somebody's store just to decide if you're going to buy something because, I mean, you should have the freedom to to look at things and decide without paying. You know, nobody wants to pay a penny for every email they send and a penny for every YouTube video they watch and so forth and so forth. And these these guys are realizing that to some extent, right? So they say, okay, we'll give you some free services. You know, we'll give you some more little free net, right? YouTube, you can upload as many videos as you want, but you also get slammed with tons of ads. Google has a bunch of free accounts, and you know this 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 type of thing. You get slammed with a bunch of ads. Same thing with 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 Facebook too, right? So so this is this is this is more or less the the, the, the existing construct of, of 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 the internet as it exists, and. These commercial people are always saying, you know, what are these hippies over here? <laughs> what, what are they doing sticking around here all the time, you know, like, just, you, you know, like, we're trying to do business over here, and, and these guys are always getting in the way. And these guys are saying to these guys, like, hey, man, if you guys take over, you know, like, then we're going to end up paying a nickel for every time we send an email, and a nickel every time we go online, and, you know, like, that's so uncool, you know, no way. Right, so that's 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 more or less the reality of it. So where does the Fusion Canada website fit in? Well, this is the thing. These these people here that are plugging into the internet, right? It's uh, the the commercial sector has enormous advertising power. Yeah, and it's. it's it's a powerful, powerful force, you know. It's like, I mean, basically, there's, there's, there's a super strong pull, always pushing towards it. So, so even for, for like talented people that are like on YouTube trying to display their skills and that, all of a sudden the music industry says like, throws a million dollars, says, hey, YouTube, just put this Avril Lavigne video on it, just promote the hell out of it, you know, and then they get ten million dollars back. And then, and then tons of people with a lot of talent just get weeded out because all the traffic is reverted because they have so much advertising power, right? Because they're all about money, you know. But on the other hand, little bands with no with no record company behind them at all can go on there, release really smart videos. You've got three million hits, and isn't it true that Google pays bands for hits well, over a certain number? Well, it's just there's I mean there's 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 royalties. That there's there's a, a a currency program with 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 YouTube. Uh, I haven't plugged into it myself because I'm just like I'm always getting messages on my YouTube channel like earn money from these videos and I'm like I don't really care about that right now. But but yeah, I mean if 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 you if you exceed like I think uh, uh, five thousand views or something, 
then or two thousand views, you know, YouTube will say, Hey, you can make some money with this man, you know, and and then you become part of this like uh, advertising thing where every time uh, someone clicks an ad on your video, you know, you get a, a penny or a tenth of a penny or something like this, right? So what <coughs> Okay. So the reason I draw this out is because these are two very different uh, ideologies. This is this these guys here it's like we're here here to make money or here to get money, whatever, you know, here for money. These guys are like we're here to serve. You know, we believe in sharing and all this wonderful stuff and freedom for everybody. Now, this is what we don't want. What we don't want is is the fusion site to end up on this side with other charities that say, like, you know, me, 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 look at me, I need some money, which is which is basically interpreted as the same message from the people that are plugging in. Oh, okay. Well, these guys, these are guys that are selling product for money and. And this charity over here, they want money. I'm sure they do good stuff, you know. But it's still it's still taking on too much of this side here, right? Yeah. That's we want we want we want fusion to be on this side. Yep. You know, we want like you know, we're here with a good intent, we're here to serve, we're here to provide and, and, and this type of thing. Uh, Okay, so that's 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 very critical, right? Because I mean, how many times do you read in the paper and this type of thing? You know, like, oh, it's Christmas time, and so and so charity is looking for some money right now. You know, mm -hmm. but you don't hear about that charity after or before the uh, the the fact, right? Yeah. Now this is this is where strategy really plays in. And when I say it's a war, it's like, yeah, it's really a war. You know, for years and years, people plugged in their expertise, their knowledge, their know-how into Yahoo GeoCities. Yeah. You know, millions of Yahoo GeoCity websites. And one day Yahoo said, hey, you know what? We can't afford this. We'll just drop the whole thing. Yeah. And tons of information on the net, free information, with beautifully written programs that were for free, just gone, disappeared. Yeah. You know? So it's a war, like people get hurt. Yeah. You know? Let's see. Now this is this is this is the internet as this is how most sites are. It's uh this is it's sort of like interconnected like this. As uh and they're like, me, notice me, notice me, notice me, notice me. And they come up in a whole bunch of searches, right? You know? So, like, there's a million of these little me sites. They're like standalone websites, and they're like, you know, here's me, and here's me, and here's me, and, and all over the place, right? And well, mom and pop little businesses, right? Lots and lots and lots of mom and pop little businesses. Hey, yeah. you can buy your product from me. Here's my price. Yeah, here's exactly. Exactly, and and I was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking about this last night. I was like, well, how can you benefit from all these people that are screaming, me, 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 me? And this is, this is, this is, this is what I came up with in real quick. See, so let's see. It. It's about time that businesses, charities, communities stop thinking of the internet as a phone book. <laughs> you know, where you just type in the right key, key search and it's like, oh, okay, there's a page, you know, with some information on it, contacts. Let's, this is the microchip. This is, this is the microchip in the website. There's the same thing. Yeah, most websites have one lead. It's, they pop up in, in, in one search. Look at me, look at me. There's no links. It ends. That's it. Yeah. End of the story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And they just come up in just in just one ideal search. Mm -hmm. Now, 
when we look at uh, when we look at we sync, right? This, uh, here's the we sync entity, and we can subdivide it. You know, so so like this would be like fusion. This would be the community league. This would be like boys and and girls club, and this type of thing. And I mean, the whole idea is that these guys are trying to network together so they can fulfill all their needs, right? So if these guys have something happening, you know, people who are just looking out can say, hey, there's something going on here, or there's something going on over here, you know? And these guys are cross-communicating all the time, you know? That's why, that's why the WeSync needs... Now there's, there's uh, several ways to approach this, but what they need is a singular feed. A single feed that each one of these guys plugs into. And each one of these guys... So every time something happens at Fusion, it pops up in the feed as a little notice. Every time something happens at Community the League, it pops in as a little notice. And all the attention is brought into this single feed. So people want to know what's happening with the community. They're looking at this 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 feed. Uh, now this 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 gets even deeper because um, so what? Stop there for a minute. So what you're saying is um, you're looking for a single source of information that encapsulates what's happening in Fusion, the Community League, the BNG, and the other partners in recent. Yeah. Okay. Where would that be? What do you think? What are you envisioning that? I'm envisioning this single key on the Fusion West Edmonton site. Okay. So the WeSync site can go. We don't need it anymore. Well, the co the, the 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 concept of the of the WeSync site is still is still founded. I think what needs to happen is is this site here. We put in we put in a a, a redirector. That, that whether it's a link or, or or a physical redirector brings it to to this single feed. Okay, if the single feed over here is the Fusion West 17 site, here's the problem. For the other partners around the table, yep. they're going to perceive that they are losing value and Fusion is being self-serving by directing everybody to the Fusion site. You see, it's the distrust. Okay, okay. okay. So, then, so then in that case, We'll just put the single feed on the WeSync site. We keep the single feed on the WeSync site, and everyone's going to mutually benefit from it then. Okay. Okay. So, and so, uh, so what we we'll, what we got to start doing for all those me sites I was talking about? We start looking at links for links. Okay, so this is this is every 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 good site that that exists out there that 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 Fusion wants to connect with, like whether it's a good Christian site or 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 it's got a good message or you know this type of thing. Yeah. You know, because a lot of churches too are falling into that whole me 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 no, thing. Are they ever, you know? Yeah, and and we say you know. Okay, so it's like Fusion says, hey, you know what? We we really like this 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 Christian site here. We think they got great values and all this stuff. So so you guys you guys can we'll set up a page here, and we'll, and and you can put your link on this page here, and 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 uh, and and then and then you can put a link on our page. I mean on our link on your page, right? So they're trading links, right? So this is this is like the some some Christian site, and they have a link to the Fusion site, right? And then here on 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 Fusion on Fusion site side, they have a link to this like like Christian site, for example, right? So what what ends up happening is you start building a database of 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 potential links. This is this is this is communities that are they're starting to to come together, starting to notice, hey, 
Fusion's got all these like wonderful links from like all these great Christian sites. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at this. We have a little summary for each of the links, right? Just basically a little thing about what they're about and this 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 type of thing, right? We can extend this to another page that is a community uh, problem solving board. This is this is this is awesome stuff. So, for example, if there's some community that's kind of like fusion or whatever, and and they're like say in California, and they came across this like absolutely awesome idea, and it's just turning heads, then everybody can benefit from it because this is like they come here because there's like all these links that are related to different other community Christian related stuff. And they say, hey man, we came up with this awesome idea. And then all of a sudden, everybody begins benefiting. And because of the fact that everyone begins to benefit, it draws more and more. So, so you're not just networking with the people that are just plugging in online. You're also networking with communities, like communities that exist beyond, beyond local circles. Because, I mean, those communities have the same problems, and, and they're finding different solutions, right? You know, so so this is so this is the first type of networking. It's like networking with with different communities. This is this you have the second type of, of, of networking here. And this is this is where I'm gonna get into like the actual Well okay. yeah, we have we have our local community networking. Can here. I summarize what you're saying? Can I think yeah. just to be sure I've got it? Yeah. Okay. So in talking about West M2 synchronicity. I'm really glad you looked at it last night because you, you understand the heart of it. You see there's so much potential that is not being realized. So we have a problem. The website is probably not being visited. It's just there. Um, and the enthusiasm for what was building in West Edmonton Synchronicity has pretty much evaporated. We have some core groups that are still involved, but yeah. by and large not much beyond that. So you're wondering, how can we... Okay, the vision is, I love your networking vision, Daryl, I love it. It's about linking, so it, so a website that becomes a single source for people to plug into that connects them to agencies and individuals in, say, West Edmonton that are committed to community transformation and networking together to do it. So yeah. these are people who are willing to let go of the self-interest of the me, 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 yeah. and actually be more willing to work together, which is the... Remember when I said this morning that West Edmonton Synchronicity was teetering? Yeah. It's around that territory. It's because of the self-interest. Yeah. Because what we're advocating as... You can't do the networking theory in, in synchronicity. You can't really be in collaboration with anybody unless you're willing to let go of some of your personal goals or your agency goals in order to buy into the corporate legals. Can you see that? So th what you're advocating really is a, an internet application that reflects networking theory. Because the agencies who buy into this have to be able to, have to be willing to let go some of the me, me, me in order for the collective to be stronger. Am I right? Yeah, well, the collective will become stronger. It's not because very socialist, but actually it is. <laughs> well, the, the, the collective will be stronger, and the reason for that is because each of these groups, like Fusion, the Community League, Boys and Girls, they all have limited options mm -hmm. in terms of the people plugging in to online. Yeah. But together, they have a mountain of options. Okay. And, 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 and people can, can cross, you know, uh, cross use their time. So people that do some volunteering for Boys and Girls, you know, they have some time off. You know, and they, they, they tell somebody, or, or, or they do some stuff for Fusion, too, at the same time. You know, or they tell somebody else about Fusion, you know. It's, it's, it, it, the entire thing benefits the whole. And I think the, the biggest problem, usually, with this type of structure is that motivation, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's the these, 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 yeah, these, these for people here, they're, they're like, Okay, well, we got our website. Hopefully, it's good enough that it's going to draw some attention in this stuff here. This is the reality people have to realize is that there are two massive worlds. There's reality world. Yeah. That's the world that we're in right now, Paul. Yeah. 
And at this moment, and there's this virtual world right here. People spend half their time, half their life, living in the virtual internet world. Yeah. That is why web presence and and networking is so critical. Okay. Because because like uh, if you got all these communities, churches, and everything, you know, trying to do everything in this reality world and ignoring this world that that people are going to all the time, it's going to backfire because people like the virtual world. It's it brings them things they can't experience in real life. They have no limitations. They can be whatever they want to be. They have complete freedom. So we're agreeing then, in our discussion about the West Edmonton synchronicity, is that the, in your mind, the goals and objectives of West Edmonton synchronicity create a potential structure for us to become that, what's the first word there? Feed. Something feed? A single feed. Single feed. Yes. Single source. So that could become the avenue in which Fusion plus these other partners are plugged together to tell us a, a story together in this network. It doesn't exist. It's just a network called West Edmonton Synchronicity. Yeah. But on the other hand, that does not preclude us or stop Fusion West Edmonton from doing a similar function, but focusing on Fusion at the hub and talking about the amazing stories of the partnerships that we're involved with with the other agencies, for example, the RINC. Well, yeah, we, so we, yeah, we, we, have, we have to do that, yeah. So the RINC, in fact, the story of the RINC would be marketed, introduced, described in both places. And we would also hope it would be described in the other RINC partners' websites as well, like uh, the Boys and Girls Club, and like Britannia Junior High School and Youngstown School. So if they on their web presences are all talking about the rank, linking to Fusion as a partner, and linking to West Edmonton Synchronicity as the hub source for the rink story, plus any other story that involves West Edmonton and partnerships, collaborations, am I heading in the right territory? Yeah. Are you willing to also do, do work on the West Edmonton Synchronicity site? Yeah, I am. I am, because we gotta, we have to get this, 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 this functioning. Are you willing to this is this, is this is going to singularly drive up the web presence of what I'm afraid to say is the boys and girls more or less dead or comatose uh, Facebook page. This is going to drive up hits of fusion. The only thing that's really driving up hits of fusion is the fact that it's worldwide. And it's so, it's so, it has so many connections across the globe. Look, that there's just so many people involved that they're all just... If anybody has looked at the Fusion Canada site, I don't know why, because we have done nothing until you started two weeks ago. It was dead. It was a waste of time. Daryl, I get you. Absolutely. It's because of, but what we need is the West Edmonton, the Edmonton networks, the Alberta networks. We need thousands of hits to the West Fusion West Edmonton site and the Fusion West Edmonton Synchronicity site. Yes. And this is... This is this is this is this is your 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 strongest knowledge base right here. This is knowledge knowledge base comes straight from communities. This is community organizations everywhere, unlimited across the globe. This is all we think stuff. Okay, this is this is a massive knowledge pool, and this has to be tapped into. To, to in, the f in, in future endeavors to further promote and function with more efficiency. Because there's just by statistical chance there's people doing amazing stuff in this knowledge pool, but the story only goes as far as it goes. You know, this is the we sync stuff. Now, that's what we've got right here is a. Uh, that networking searches. Yes, purpose. We need purpose. Purpose is another leap. Okay, this is this is how I'm envisioning the we sinks. I mean, let's let's leave back we sync right now, and we'll go straight to the the the, the West Ed site. Okay. Okay. Here's here's our West Ed site. Could you switch pens, there? The two down there have a lot more ink in them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Just throw it up and Jimmy, I'll throw it right there. Okay. Uh, okay. 
There we go, that's much better. Okay, so right off the bat we need a feed on here. Okay, that says what's happening on our Facebook stuff. Because sorry, feed on the website. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the West Edmonton uh, fusion site, right? Okay. Good. So we need a feed right here of the Fusion West Edmonton Facebook. Okay. Which basically so every time every time West Edmonton Fusion puts an update on their Facebook, you know, the rink is open or we're we're having this training course or whatever, blah blah blah. It pops up on this this feed right here. Yep. This Agreed. gives people another reason to come to this this site. Yep. Instead of instead of always being crossed between between the two, because unfortunately the Facebook is going to win. You know, unless unless you and the limitations of Facebook connect them is that uh, you don't have the background information. It's just that single little cell. There's none of the data. There's none of the con. Well, you can go search for the contact information yeah. on Facebook, but it's incomplete. Whereas, yeah. if I'm hearing you right, the website becomes almost like the virtual library of, of current information on Fusion West Edmonton. What you need to know quickly about events, training, activities, the history of Fusion, connection to Fusion, it's all on the website. So the Facebook becomes the instantaneous snapshot. So when you say that, unfortunately, people default to Facebook, you're right. Yeah. So what the, what we need to do is use the Facebook to point back to the website so people can come to the further, bigger picture background information. Have I got it? Yeah. Excellent. It's, um, so now thinking about free net stuff, we have to, we have to we have to consider what is the purpose of people visiting the West Ed Fusion site? Is it just so people know that West Edmonton Fusion exists, or, or is there some way that people can benefit from visiting this site? Does, can it fulfill their, their, their needs, their, their, their purpose? You know, in other words, uh, uh, things, you know, things, like, there's, there's websites that have, like, like atomic, atomic clocks, right? They get hits all the time. Just because people want to know the time, right? They want to know the exact time so they can set their clocks, watches, whatever. There's there's little Wikipedia articles that, that are on like simple geometry. And every kid in elementary is hitting them over and over again because, you know, they're like, oh, how do we find out the area of a triangle, right? You know, this type of stuff. This is this is one way with tools. Okay, tools is one way of delivering constant traffic to to your site. Of course these these tools can be community tools, they can be Christian tools. So for example, it could be stuff like like a, like like an open source Bible for example, right? You know? It could be like a whole a whole a whole Bible right on the site that, that you know that allows discussion on different verses of the Bible. And then people come and say, oh, what's this in the Bible? Okay, well, let's check that fusion site. Oh, what does that mean? Okay, well, this guy put some explanation. You know, this gets people involved. Interactivity. That's what the site means, you know. People are talking about the Bible all the time. And fusion is a Christian organization, right? Okay, so, I mean, I know we're not, we're not Bible thumpers, so we don't want to thump that down on the public. But... There is a whole Christian existence on the internet. There's, Chris, there's, there's a Christian site I go to all the time because they offer a free palm app with, with, with Bibles for free, right? So I go there and I, I, I download different books and that, that type of thing, you know, so I can carry the Bible on my palm, this type of thing, you know. And, and there's discussions going all over. This discussion will take off right away just based on the infrastructure. Other people that are plugged into Fusion, you know, priests, whoever, you know, they just, they'll say, yeah, okay, well, you know, I'm going to write up a little bit about this or this or this or this kind of thing. In terms of public, okay, now this is the public because we don't want to Bible thump them, we don't want to freak them out, right? Just, 
we can do interactive pages on what's your positive experience of the day? You know? So like, it's like some guy visits the site, he plugs in, he shows up as a guest and he says, well, hey, man, like something really cool. Like my sister I haven't heard from 10 years ago, she just called me like out of the blue. I was like really happy about that. This, this, this can potentially draw a lot of attention because, I mean, Fusion is catering to like youth at risk and that always ties into poor neighborhoods and this type of thing, right? And if we can start bringing out positive stories from people, like just little tiny positive things, like I don't care like how small, just nice little positive tidbits, right? You know, this board will begin to fill up huge. You know, people will start plugging into. It's another thing is, um, I want to do the picture slideshow, right? So instead of having like a bunch of static pictures, you know, running by, like just sitting there in, in a spot, we would have one picture for a couple seconds, and then the next picture would come up in a couple seconds, and, and, and this type of thing, right? It's, um, we can have, now this is, I mean, there's so many things we can do. We can do, we can do leaderboards. We could say, hey, we've noticed that that so-and-so has volunteered this X amount of hours. And, and, and so-and-so over here has, has volunteered Y amount of hours. Those could be Facebook posts that pop up on the website. Just a little quick little. Well, a leaderboard is, is, is more effective because it's, it's something that's static. And when, when people see like, yeah, this, this dude here did 100, this guy did 80 here, you know, this, this guy is, you know, competition will, will, will build, but it will be a good competition because there will be some, some guy down here who maybe did like five hours and he'll say, hey man, and there's like a whole bunch of people in between here. I want to move up on this, you know? Oh, I see. So by static, you mean since they're on the site? Yeah, yeah. It would show up like like an Excel table almost, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This would volunteers and hours and oh my, and, and be from like most hours to 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 least hours, you know? This this type of thing, because people love credit. They love recognition. They thrive on it. And if we can give them credit and recognition for something good that they've done, right? That would be awesome. There's, 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 there, there was a free net site, and I'll tell you what they did. And this, this, it was the coolest idea, and this really worked well for this guy. This guy was developing software, and, uh, and he, he, he made this software product. And he said, yeah, you guys can have it for free. If you really like it, I've spent like tons of time developing this, so it's useful. So do donate to me, right? And, 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 and his, his site was going all right. And then he started making a leaderboard of top donations. And then, and then what happened was people people began competing to get to the top of this leaderboard. But essentially anybody who donated got recognition in that in that leaderboard. Right? So and it's the same thing like when you go to those McDonald's and stuff like that, right? And they have like some little charity and they'll put like a little banana with your name on it, like on the wall type thing, right? People thrive on recognition. They love it. Right? This is this is how to pull people in, in into the fusion site. You know, it's um, there's uh, I mean there's ultimately there's the whole fusion site is like a big microchip, and we have to plug in every single every single lead, and there's a lot of leads. There's search leads. There's there's hub leads. You know, these plug into YouTube, Google, this type of thing. You know, there's uh, there's feed leads. 
There's, there's networking needs, leads. <laughs> We have we, we, essentially we 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 need to convince those people too. At, at, at we think that half half the people today are spending half their life in the virtual world. That's just the way it is. Every time this Twitter and Facebook and and mostly YouTube now are connected, they have an absolute synchronous relationship with cell phones. Everybody's got a cell phone. Every time someone's on a cell phone, they're, they're plugged into that virtual world. So they're not even leaving that virtual world. I mean, people are starting to watch TV in that virtual world. People go on Facebook all the time to play games in that virtual world. So, it's, 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 what, we have, what we essentially have to tell the people, at, at everybody at we think, is that, hey, this, the internet is not just a medium of advertising like TV and radio and all this other stuff. People are living here for half their lives. And the other half of their lives are living like in, in, in reality right over here. I mean, that's, that's, that's the basic truth of it. Would you be willing to come meet with me with the four organizations that are at the core of WeSync? Yes, abso absolutely. Because, look, WeSync right now, the website is pretty much dead, like I said. Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to strategize the content, have somebody who can keep pushing us to keep updating the content so that the stories that need to be online are there. Um, we need a webmaster is what we need. And we also need someone who can do things like put in the meta tags and those sorts of things. So that if, if it's West Edmonton, we think comes up. If it's if it's community, we think comes up. If yeah. it's partnering, we think comes up. If it's uh, six degrees of separation, we think comes up. And and nobody else has even conceptualized this. Really bad. I'm 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 definitely in for that because. Like I said, the internet is no longer just an advertising medium. People, it's, it's a virtual reality, and that's how it's got to be treated. People are living their lives there. They're, they're writing blogs about their life. They're making videos and putting it on their life. You were, you were helping me envision, actually, that the internet has the potential to be the virtual representation of our goals in WeSync and our goals in the future, which is networking and partnering and collaborating, and together we're stronger than working individually. Well. If the WeSync website is working right, then it's a virtual representation of that, right? So that well, every, absolutely. every agency that is a part of it should benefit because WeSync becomes this hub that tells the story of West Edmonton and synchronicity. And then, but all the partner agencies also benefit because it, they are so high profile within the network. Yes. And, and the WeSync website links you to all of the partners and their stories. I love it. Now it's just there's infrastructure networking, and this cannot be ignored. Now, I, ha I have to ask, like, um, what in, in terms of website, we've got West Edmonton doing its thing here. We've got Regina doing its thing here. We've got Vancouver doing its thing here. Are these guys all just doing their own thing here, and like, how is this tying to to the whole whole fusion site? How is the whole fusion site benefiting from from what these guys are doing here? I'm not sure what you mean, but within the Fusion Canada website, there are drag down tabs for each yeah. one of those three locations. Yeah, and there's a story that. Regina's got a story. Vancouver hasn't done much. Mm -hmm. We haven't done much so recently. But other than that, how, how do you see them? Well, I, I looked at the number of hits, and I, I found something that was uh, really obvious to me. The number of hits on each of them is, is, has, has a, a, a correlation, an almost perfect correlation, to the size of the city that each of them are in. So Vancouver's the largest city, 
it's got the most hits, respectively. Regina is it's the smallest city. It's got the least number of hits. Edmonton's a medium, so we've got like the medium number of hits. So this, so which is which is fascinating because Edmonton's got a story, Regina's got a little tiny story, and Vancouver has next to no story. Yeah, but since they're feeding off 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 their little cities here. Yeah. What I'm interested in, like, is is is. What what can these what can all the sectors of of fusion can offer in terms of of videos they've taken, interesting stories that they that they've if they've documented this type of thing, and how can we tie that in better so it benefits the whole of the infrastructure? See, I want to get people talking in this infrastructure versus. You know, the Vancouver webmaster saying, okay, I'm just going to update this Vancouver website here and hope it all goes well. And this guy here in Regina, oh, I'll just update this Regina site and hope that it all goes well. And, you know, I want, we need infrastructure networking across this entire site because each one of these people is pooling a tiny amount of resources. And one day, if we could have like a whole, say, like even on the, on the YouTube channel, Videos from everywhere in Fusion. Videos from Jamaica, videos from, you know, Nigeria. Like, the whole collaborative, right? I mean, that would be awesome, man. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, stories from from everything that they're doing, right? This is... Okay, you're opening up an incredible can of worms. I love it. It's going to take a lot of communication uh, and desire in order to take that next step. Michael from Regina will be here in Edmonton in about two weeks. And yeah. I would love, um, well, now look, all of this, Jocelyn is the boss, right? You understand? Yeah. She is the coordinator. So what you and I are going to have to do when she comes home is briefly, you can't go through this in this detail with Joss. You'll lose her. That's not what she wants to hear. What she needs is you and I to just give her the guts. <laughs> this is where we see Fusion Canada website, West Edmonton Synchronicity, what Daryl's willing to do now. Jocelyn, we need you to say to Michael, you've got to sit down with these guys. Because what I hear you offering is basically, you're willing to support Michael, the Regina guy, in telling his story better, more accurately, and connecting his story to the bigger story, all of that kind of oversight sort of stuff. Right? Yes. Okay, we need to sit down with Michael when he's here and face to face have that conversation. One thing I wanted to add on to the West West Edmonton site was a Google mapping, a real time Google map of all the fusion centers around the world. This is a visual representation that people will say, Oh my god, these guys aren't just like on a little building in Edmonton, they're like everywhere. On the Fusion Canada site that would be fantastic too. Yeah. Fantastic. But it's also it's also important to have it on the West Edmonton site because it shows that you're a part of something that much bigger. Fair enough. Yeah, I get it. Ah, oh, Daryl, this is so good. The only thing the only thing that we can't have is music on the site. You yeah, I, you sent me that Facebook message. No music, none. Except when it comes to like music that's already part of a content within a video or something like that. I was going to ask you about that. Because I, was, I, was, I remember once I was talking to my friend Mark, and he likes his country music, I like my dance music. Yeah. And we were talking about the specific sounds that, that really raise the hairs on the back of our necks. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh Mark, I love it when this, this one dance song comes on, they play this keyboard, and it's like, din, 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 din. It just like gets me so excited. And he's, and he's like, that's exactly the type of sounds I can't stand hearing, you know? So what totally worked for me did not work for him at all. Gotcha. And, and music, I mean, people say music brings people together. If music is like politics, it actually divides people. You know, there's, there's YouTube videos, and I'll mention this really quick in my wrap-up, where I'll go to a YouTube video because some guy would be doing something really cool, you know, some really cool hobby idea and he'll be playing this like heavy metal music and it's like I don't I, I don't like heavy metal I have nothing against it it's just everything about it annoys me <laughs> and most of the time I have a lot of patience so I'll just turn off the volume and watch the video 
most people will say, Heavy Metal, what is this crap? Oh man, I'm not watching this. Right? Even though, even though the, the original title got their attention totally, right? So, I mean, music can turn people off, like, just like that. You know, this guy would have got far more hits with no, no music, with no sound at all. You know, because everybody would be like, oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, I'll check this out. This looks cool, you know. So, that is, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a lot to go over. But, <laughs> um, this, this is basically the future. Okay, this is the future I see. So this is not like, let's do this by next week and this, this type of thing, right? This is the future. This is way past the festival. This is, this is the future of, of fusion, of community, of the community. And you're willing to take it on? Yes, because I seek purpose in my life, but I also seek meaningful purpose in my life. You okay. know? Here are the steps. Is, your, is this it? Your presentation's over? Yeah, it's... Did I ruin it by asking all those questions? No!